Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to do data visualization in Touch Designer. This video is a simple introduction to data visualization. First, we go to dots. In dots, you can bring your file with file in, or you can even create your own table here. Here you can add rows and columns. Or you can drag and drop your file inside Touch Designer. But there are some specific formats. If you go here, then you will have a list of the formats that you can bring to Touch Designer. But I just dropped my file. Now I have a very simple table here. Uh, like I said, like I have some triangles, rectangles, and circles with different colors. Next thing I do, I bring a select. In select, you can go to select rows. Here you can choose how do you want to select your rows. Uh, I use by name and here I write try and I get like all the columns from try. I copy and paste my select. And here in the start row name, I change the names to rectangle and to circle. Now I go to chop, I bring a constant. Now in the constant, I want to make like different channel for each columns. I add three channels for the first channel. I write blue. And for the second channel, I write green. And for the third channel, I write red. Now here, if you open your parameter, in the value part of our parameter, I write up, parentheses, design, select one. I close the parentheses and I use this sign, which I don't know what is it called. And zero, one. So now we have the blue number here. I copy the code. I paste it here and instead of 1, I put 2. This 1, 2, 3 are our columns number. Now I add another one to have like the some amount of triangles that we have. And I call it some tries. And I use the same expression and instead of 3, I put 4. Now we have each one of these numbers. I copy and paste the constant. Now everything is quite the same. We just need to change the names, like the sum names. Some rectangles. And here, instead of select 1, I write select 2. Now you see that the select 2 node is connected to constant 2. And for the third one, we do the same. Some circle. We change the name here. And we use the same expressions. Instead of select 1, I add select 3. And now here we see the select 3 is connected to constant 3. Now we have all these numbers. Now we want to assign these numbers. We want to visualize these numbers.
So I go to top and I bring a rectangle. We want to make a like very simple visualizations. First thing we do in justify vertical, we put it on bottom. So everything starts from the bottom point. And here we can change the resolution. I put it on HD. 720, but I put it like on 1024-1024. And here, as you can see, the size is on 0 0.5. And if you put it on 1, if you put the vertical number, the Y number on 1, it feels like vertically our space. Now we want to map these numbers on this image. We go to chop and bring a math. We connect all our constant to math. Now we have all the numbers. Our highest number here is 35, as you can see. So we can go with from range 0 to 35 to range 0 to 1, which means 0 to 35 will be mapped on 0 to 1. Now I copy my rectangle and I put different names. Rectangle, triangle, and circle. Because each one of these shows how many rectangles we have, how many triangles we have. And now here, press on this star to have access to your channel. Select the channel that you want and drag and drop them on Y size of your rectangle. So since we have the names, it's very easy to choose them. Now you see that we have different height for each one of our shapes. But if you don't want this to be like fill, here in math, the from branch we change the 35 and 50. And for the x size, we can also change the number. We can make them a little bit more small. Here you can change the colors, you can choose any colors that you want. And now I bring a composite. And I connect all rectangles to my composite, I put it on add. Now we want to move these in our X position. Here in the center, you can change the position. So I put them from higher number to lower number. Now we have this. Here I add the transform because I want to bring them like a bit up. Later we want to add text on the bottom of our visuals. Here in transform I move them a little bit up. Now how do we get the text from our data to visuals? Go to top and select text. Here in the post text, we write an expression. Up parentheses. And here we call select one. And close the parentheses. And here we put zero, zero. Because 
the name of our shape is in 0, 0. And here you should open the parameter and choose the blue one. So now we have the text. Now here in the text part, we delete what is there. I copy the text and use the same expression instead of select one, I use select two, select three for each one of them. Here I also change the resolution. You go to common and we give them the same resolution as our rectangles. Now I get a copy from my composite and I connect all of the text instead of rectangles. Here I add a transform and I paste the number from the position to translate X and I add another transform for each one of the text. I give them the same value as the rectangle for each one of these shapes have. Now I, after the transform, I connect the text to my shape. Now here I add a transform after my composite to move the text on the bottom side and here I move them down, I change the Y value in my translate and now they are here. Now if you want to have the value next to our names, we can write them in the text. Here I did a mistake. And if you want to give them like some space, like put some space between them, you can just press space on your keyboard. And here I add the numbers for rectangles. And for circles, now we have numbers, names, and the visuals. And this is what we have. This is a very simple start to learn if you don't know anything about data visualization in Dutch Designer. This is a very simple way to do it. In the next videos, we will continue working on more complex data visualizations. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel to get notification for upcoming tutorials.